Are you digging a portal to China? I am, and I think I see somebody right now. Hello, sir. So really what we're doing is kind of creating a hot box, I think they're called. It's the old school method where you dig a hole in the ground and you fill it up with manure and straw. What kind of manure? Uh, we're going to use cow manure in this case because we have lots of cow manure. Mm. Um, so what happens is you put it in here and then it heats up and creates a hotbed for your seedlings. Because we've been having issues with our seeds being outside, just sitting over there under the tree. We bring them in and out every day. That's kind of a pain, and we've had cat problems. Cats pee on them. We have turkeys that have scratched them up. So we're trying to create not only something that could keep our seeds warm at night, but also act as protection against all the, the predators. So here we have our 12 inch hole, and we're pretty much done with this part. Now we're going to go get manure over there, mix it with straw, it's already decomposing, it's nice and hot. We're going to fill this hole up, and then we're going to surround it with straw bales. We have a piece of plexiglass we found in the shop, and we're essentially going to create a small little greenhouse for them, using just the tools and you know all the resources that we've had. So That's what we're all about, use what you got. And see the next steps in just a few minutes. So we're just going to talk quickly about the few, few things that you'll need to make the hot box that we made. Uh, we love our handy dandy rod fork. It is such a wise investment. Um, absolutely love it. That we have a shovel um, to dig the hole that was 12 inches deep and Yeah, 36, 42. Um, and then you need four straw bales to make your walls, a piece of plexiglass, and last but not least, a steaming pile of shit. Mm. Ooh, hot. See how the steam coming off there? I wish you could feel it. It's so warm. It's probably like 80, 90 degrees. It's awesome. Don't be fickle with your fecal, folks. Says the excrement engineer. Hold on over here. Well, <coughs> it's about 54 degrees out. Mmm, chilly, Last really. Last night it was a little colder. But uh, let's check the temperature on the ceiling, guys. Do that. We are at about 65. This morning when we came out, we were up to 75. So we're dropping a little bit, um, but still super toasty in there for them. They're doing so well, thriving, growing every day. Lots of new growth and looking good. So I'd say overall, our efforts were really worth it. You know, we didn't put that much time into it. Um, just the digging and placing straw bales, put a lid on it. and. They're pretty self-sufficient, so. That's what we're going for. Yeah. Wonderful. Good, simple technology. Hello. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, thanks for checking out our first video, our hot box seed house video. Uh, sorry for the windy conditions. That may have been kind of annoying to hear, so hopefully next time we'll pick a, a less windy day to, to record. But, um, yeah, we just want to say thanks for checking in. We'll be posting a lot more we'll be videos. Posting some stuff about gardening and just like homesteady stuff, um, making your own cereals and condiments and all kinds of fun stuff. So exciting! Yeah, good stuff. Please right. check in again. Yeah. And thank you. Totally. Thank you.